Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have three new flashback players that will be dropping and that are confirmed to drop tomorrow. Tomorrow, we will get a lot more in Good Morning Madden, but for right now, we have three. So let me know if you guys had to pick up any of these three players, so would you guys pick up? And let me know down below. Most importantly, which theme teams are you guys running? And if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel, boys. We're on the road to 400 subscribers, so if you guys are new here, welcome. Don't forget to follow me on my socials. Don't forget to show this video some love. Leave a comment down below, and let's jump into it. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I feel like Wild Card Wednesday so far this year is a big W. Don't forget to do your challenges, because every single four week, you guys will be able to receive a free player within those four weeks for wild card wednesday but like i said tomorrow we're getting flashbacks our first player 89 overall free safety zone mike a uh, 87 speed 89 acceleration 80 tackling tackling is pretty bad 87 player station 80 pursuit 84 man coverage 91 zone coverage and 74 hit power i kind of want to consider him more of an elusive um defensive back especially for free safety well i pick him up no, will he be a top three, maybe top five, you know, free safety in the game? I'm not sure. I, depending on how much he's going to go for, um, and depending if you guys pull him, you know, if you guys pull him, great. If you guys are going to pay a lot of coins for him, I personally will pass on him. But overall, boys, if you guys are running a Green Bay Packers theme team, which so far within a week or two, we've, we've pretty much got a lot of new Green Bay Packer players. But if you guys are running that theme team, this is a must-have, but overall, boys, this is our first confirmed player that'll be dropping tomorrow. Our second player you guys see on the screen is AJ Boye, cornerback, 90 overall zone. We've been getting a lot of cornerbacks in the game, but once again, if you guys are having a Jacksonville theme team, you guys must pick them up or any other teams he's played for. He does have 88 speed, which for a 90 overall, pretty bad in my opinion. I would expect for a 90 overall, 89 speed. Uh, 90 speed. I feel like that'll be a lot better. 90 acceleration. So there you go. 87 agility. 90 jumping. 88 player station. 87 man coverage. 90 zone coverage and 85 press. Overall, a solid card. I feel like this card will be a lot better if he did have a better speed, but he doesn't. But I feel like uh, Wild Card Wednesday. I feel like uh, Team of the Weeks are perfect for theme teams. They have a lot of players that play for you know teams that aren't that popular but if you guys are a big fan of the jaguars you guys could build a theme team and this would be a great player especially on defense but overall boys this is our second player that's confirmed to drop tomorrow and our last player my no one question is in real life nfl right now he's a free agent where will he go let me know in the comment section is cam newton done is he retired do you guys believe it yes or no and let me know does your team need a quarterback I know the Washington football team, right now they need a quarterback, so they might pick up Cam, they might sign him, but jumping into his card, he is a scrambler, so I feel like for Cam Newton, or I feel like for any archer type for a scrambler, the only way anybody will go to them, and the only way that they'll be meta, is what abilities they get. Now, I'm not sure right off the top of my head, what abilities does he get? Does he get Gunslinger? Does he get Set Fate Lead? If he does... Might be a glitchy card because he does have the speed. He has A6 speed, 91 throw power, 86 short accuracy, really good for Cam. 84 meme accuracy, 87 deep accuracy. EA just gave Cam better deep accuracy than medium accuracy. That's a shocker in my opinion. 81 throw to pressure, 88 on the run, 88 play action. Solid card. I would like to say a top 5 card in the game depending what abilities does he get. Top 3 if he gets set feet lead just because he is a mobile quarterback but once again boys i'm not sure right on top of my head what he gets for abilities but overall this is our third and last player that's confirmed for tomorrow i think i have the three players in this video if i had to pick up one i'll pick up ken newton i'll pick him up on my squad i'll power him up i don't have a theme team ready for him not new england or the panthers but i want to see how good he is and i'm going to see can i run any good abilities uh, with him but overall boys let me know in the comment section what's your thoughts on these three flashback players in the comment section but just a reminder once again do your challenges every single four week you guys will get a choice to pick any wild card wednesday within those four weeks so make sure you guys do those challenges and overall i feel like this wild card wednesday just in general veterans heavyweights flashbacks big w i feel like the much more players or the many more players we're getting in the game 
is great just because everybody has options, right? We can't have that one player that is meta, just like Jerry Rice and wide receivers. We need other options, especially for team teams. But overall, boys, this wildcard Wednesday so far is a big W. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And like I said, boys, we're on the road to 400 subscribers. So if you guys are new here, welcome. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in, down below in the comment section. Don't forget to follow me on my socials. Don't forget to show this video some love. Leave a comment, and I'll see you guys on the next one.